Yep. I was going to ask, though, uh, what do you think about divorce? Do you agree with it or, or no? Um, yes and no. So I went through divorce. Um, and it was one of the hardest experiences for me to go through. Um, and everybody that I've ever met usually supports me in that decision. Um, but here was what was important from it. Actually, it, it'll take me a minute to explain this one, but I just reference this one. Um, yes and no. Um, I don't believe it should be an option in somebody's head where they go, hey, if things don't work out, this is an option I can potentially take. Um, when you actually say that you're going to marry somebody, the mentality is, okay, I'm making decisions that you are now going to be a permanent part of my life that um, when it comes to me making decisions financially, spiritually, relationally, whatever it might be, all these other decisions affect both of us. And I'm bringing you into the spot into my life where it affects both of us. However, and um, it's interesting because the Bible talks about infidelity um, and obviously that being a reason for divorce, um, I would actually go further and some people would probably not agree with it, but here's what I've, here's what I have seen in, in my belief. We've been blessed, created in a way that we, we just have so much to us. And realistically for the biggest thing we can do is give back to our creator, what we become. What, like I'm so focused on self-development because my mindset is. I want my soul to eventually evolve to a point where I can actually love like Jesus loved. And free will is an interesting scenario with that because I'll pick to go into certain aspects of it, but I'll reference it this way. Um, my, my ex um, had gotten pregnant with one of her coworkers' babies. Hmm. And um, for six months, she continued to sleep with him. In the beginning, I was willing to take on the responsibility of the child. In the beginning. Um, but as she continued to sleep with him, saying that she loved me, but at the same time, she was very lost, eventually, for my physical health, I had to make the decision of cutting that relationship off. Um, I'd gotten to a point where I was coughing up blood. I'd gotten to a point where I was very um, physically distraught and unhealthy because the commitment that I had made of all these things that in my life are now a us thing was only a decision on my side. She was no longer making decisions in that way. Um, and what it was doing was literally destroying me from the inside out. And so if, if something removes you from your ability to have a healthy relationship with your creator, yes. And I would say whether it be drugs, infidelity, whatever it might be that creates that disconnect. Somebody wants to go down the road of going to do drugs and that's what they want to do. They have the free will to do that. You can love somebody and give them the free will to do that. But you also have the responsibility to stay connected to your creator. And for a lot of people, when that starts to really create a disconnect on a deep level and you can do nothing about it, in my opinion, I think that's when a divorce actually makes sense. Yeah, I'm with you on that. And I went through a divorce, but with my parents a few years back. And cool. I, know, I know what that's like. There aren't any winners, but one of the things I wondered though back then and I still kind of wonder about it to this day. And you may have an opinion on it or you may not. But, you know, I thought divorce was the right thing based on where my life was a few years back. But at the same time, I even brought this up to several members of my family. I was like, I was like, we can't always count on the legal system to resolve everything. Right. You know, there has to be a point where I, you just you just wonder to yourselves, when will grandparents grow a pair and control their own house? You know what I mean? Sure. It's like, well, you know, we can't always count on the legal system to resolve everything. You know, there has to be a point where grandparents or even family members, they need to say they may be independent, but they're my child. And if they're going down a dark path, we're going to intervene. You know what I mean? Sure. Yep. Yeah. So I, I brought that up and I, that's something I still wonder, what's your opinion about that argument? You, you know what? So here's what I've experienced when people get to a point of divorce. Um, usually the way that it ends, if it ends healthy from the person's side, that's actually choosing to have the divorce. So let's say that the other person's messing up infidelity, uh, doing too much, whatever it might be. Usually it comes to a point where somebody says, you know what? I love you. 
I care about you. I want what's best for you. But I can't be in this relationship and be healthy. I can't be productive or effective to, to do what I'm called to do in other people's lives. Um, and it's apparent that that's not something that you want to be a part of or something. Realistically, you could completely destroy it. And that's okay. Um, but it's my responsibility, my creator, to be productive, to make an impact, uh, to love. And unfortunately, if that's just not a decision that you want to be there with, that's okay. And I, I respect your decision. But, and again, I want what's best for you, but I can't be what I need to be in this scenario. And then they choose to step away. They, they create a healthy boundary. Yeah. Realistic viewer we going to go to a highlight of struggles. There was a point where my ex was bringing a man home to my house. Um, I was working night shift. Um, and honestly, I was at a point where I was going to drive in front of, in front of a commercial vehicle. Um, so I didn't have to deal with the pain anymore. I couldn't actually like take my own life because that my mentality was, I just couldn't do it. But if I drove in front of a commercial vehicle, it would solve the issue for me. And I'd be out of the pain that I was experiencing. And instead I chose to go, you know what? I know other people are going, have, I know things got to this point for a reason. And maybe I can help other people not get to that point. And for me, that was kind of the big turning point for me is going, I can't fix this right now. I can't change the situation that I'm in right now. However, I can change it for somebody else potentially.